Americanos. Good morning, YouTube. I'm not that it, but wait. Nope. We got Ashley here. We got Lily back there. We got the Mustang somewhere back there. We are going to uh, supposedly the best autocross site currently on the East Coast. We will see. But uh, yeah, we're going to Cherry Point. So I'm really excited. I've uh, been trying to go here for a little while. A lot of people keep telling us to go. So we finally are making it for their last event of the year. Yay. So we'll go see what this is all about down here. It was a little bit of a drive. So we came in last night staying in a hotel. So. All right. Stick with us and see how it goes. Yep. Off to the racing. All right. Start of my first run in the first session. They're doing a morning and an afternoon session, which is pretty cool. So we're doing three runs in each session. So this is going to be just kind of a, a sight lap, I think, because there are some tricky portions of this course. I need to try to figure out and try to remember the course. I only got two course walks, so. There's a, a lot of time that I can uh, pick up on that one, I think. But I think it was on course. We will check the... It's, everything's online. There's no time slips. And they are announcing, but I can't really hear them. So. All right, I'm about to start my first run of the day on a pretty big course, bigger than I'm usually used to. Um, going to try to just take it a little slow the first time just to get used to the course and make sure I'm staying on course.
messed up a little bit went off course i couldn't just couldn't make it to that turn and works out because the driver's side camera uh didn't want to turn on or it's on the wrong setting all right run two we're doing three in the morning three in the afternoon so i need to get on course i missed an obstacle last time Go get them girl thank you so staying on course going fast run of the first heat uh, so that last one was going really good but uh, I just could not get back over for one of the gates and had to give it up so I got a DNF on that but I did push it through the rest of the run I was feeling like a really good run so I'm a little bummed that I uh, screwed up on that gate but it's all right uh, I'm sitting second in class the car in first ran like a uh, 57.2, so it's pretty good, good but I know that I can so also run that. I think the car actually probably can do like a 56. I did try to shift to third on that uh, going into the finish, and I think that actually did help. So we'll see what we can do on this run. Hopefully we can make it clean, but we still have an afternoon session. see what we got on that one and I know that I can clean that up I know I nailed some cones in the little eyebrow section there but man that finish is freaking flying so it was a 57 0 so it would have put me up into first place in cam T but I hit that uh, one cone just one cone but I did smack it pretty good on the the pastor side but uh, the guy in first still has, is doing his last run, so let's see if he can do any better. Puts a pressure on me. This is my third run. Um, last one for the morning session. Um, I got a clean run last run on run two. So um, now it's just the time to just push myself, try to go faster overall. It's a little intimidating and a little bit scary to have the car open up all the way down yeah so I'm just gonna try do my best then I'll have time to like think about it maybe look at some of the footage and then come back out in the afternoon for my final three and maybe a bonus fourth run Pushing it. Yeah, good. Holy shit. Yeah. I'm like shaking. And I forgot to breathe. It's a long time to not breathe. I know. Yeah, it's good. First run of the second session. So, right now I'm still sitting, of course, in second uh, second position. I did run a 57 0 on my uh, first, but it was dirty, so I just need to clean that up, and that will put me up into first for my class. But I want to go faster. I think we can do a 56. Cam C guys are running 55s. Well.
up in that one place that I ran, that I did in my second, uh, second run in my first heat that I got a little squirrely and just could not get back over. But the rest of the run, I just kept running through it. And man, it was, it's fast. It, that felt really good. I just need to put it all together into one run, but we got two more runs left, so. All right, we're back at it. This is the second half of the day. I am about to do my fourth run. Right now, I think I'm sitting in fifth out of nine ladies. So I have some work to do. Very doable. where you could probably just do a whiff because it's just so wide okay you know you don't need a break to get that you don't need to be turned in that much because you can push out there so that'd be a little bit of a place and then just that finish is where for your first area first going through that stuff you're good like you're working the, the steering wheel like it was oh. yeah, it was really good man. my chest is like my heart is beating so uh, hard i think that was clean i think it was clean too yeah i didn't feel anything I didn't feel or see or I hear felt or good. Anything. I really would like a 60. Oh, 60. Let's go for a 59, 58. What does it say? I don't know. Hold on, I'm getting there. All right, we're getting ready for the second run. So we had a development. The 99 Camaro in my class just ran at 55.9. Completely skipped the 56s and went straight for the 55. Uh, so we gotta see if we can match that. I think it's possible. We just need to get a nice, clean, fast run. So I'm gonna throw it down. I mean, I got nothing to lose at this point. Evan Cleary, his last run. way 55 7 number one in cam t right now yes i <laughs> knew this mustang could do it hell yeah all right 
put some pressure draw on the other cam to you guys now. Nice, nice. All right, I'm pulling up to my fifth run. I went a second slower on that last one, but it was clean. Um, I'm losing time in the finish because I'm kind of letting up when I should hold it down. It's just a little fast. So I'm gonna give it a good go, see what I end up with. to a 59.7. All right, the 99 Camaro was not able to get faster on his last run, so this is a victory lap for Cam T, but that Cam C uh, Mustang is still sitting there up in like the low 55s, maybe high 40, 54, so we still got a target to go after. We'll see what we can do on this run. Last run for the day. That is a wrap for day one. So they're, they are two day events, but they are uh, independent of each other. So the first day is all on its own. And then the second day, this is all its own event. So first at Cam T, I think Ashley is maybe third in ladies. We we'll have to double check what that was. I can't quite remember where she got, but she did quite well. I don't know if she got, uh, many clean runs as she was hoping though I think and that was the second session but she really pushed herself and got uh, much quicker so really proud of her that is it for day one all right last run of the day I got a 59.7 on the last run which I'm so stoked about it was dirty meaning I hit a cone so it's not my fastest time but I'm proud of myself for getting in the 50s. Um, I'm gonna try to do it again and even better and clean. So, last one. so fun that course was so fast <sighs> and I'm proud of myself 
haven't really pushed it, so yay. Okay, we're back home. We've had some time to kind of review the footage, think back on the event, and man, is Cherry Point well worth it. That was such a fun event. That location is awesome. It's large. I really like the surface. Uh, it's really grippy, I guess I should say. Uh, it was grippy and slick kind of all at the same time. It really, you really had to work the wheel to keep the, the traction. It felt kind of like it'd be a good service for uh, drifting, which I've never drifted, but that's just kind of how it felt to me. I was kind of really working the wheel and just on that edge of traction the entire time. The tires were making a lot of noise. I really enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. Uh, so for the results for Ashley, for the ladies class, she did come in fourth place just outside of that uh, top three, which she would have had, I think, with that, uh, with her fifth run it was. Uh, but unfortunately, it was, it was a very difficult course to try to get clean runs. I think she only had one clean run out of the six. So really difficult to get a clean run. A lot of people were, getting, were hitting cones. I hit cones. It was, but that's what you got to do to try to be up there at the top. For KMT, for my class, number one, baby. I came in first place. I was able to just get ahead of that, uh, of the other cars in the class, just barely. It was so much fun, so much pressure. It really pushed me to drive the car to the max. I don't think I would have drove quite as fast if that other uh, Camaro had not driven as fast as he did either. We were really, I feel, pushing each other to drive faster, hopefully. Uh, I know he pushed me to drive faster. It was so much fun and it helped me get close to the, the Cam C cars. I think I would have been second behind the, the Cam C cars, uh, second or third place with them. Uh, so it was a lot of fun. And one thing that I liked about this club was they kind of gave out little trophies for uh, first, second, and third for each class. So third place got a tire pressure gauge, second place got some sunglasses, and first place got a 10 mil socket on a, a necklace, on a, on a chain. So that is pretty cool. You can always use a 10 mil socket. So that was kind of cool little things that uh, doesn't cost a lot of money, but it kind of makes it worth it for you, you know, it kind of like helps you, incentivize you to do better in your class. So I thought that was a really uh, fun little thing and it was cool seeing everyone that was wearing uh, either sunglasses or the, the necklace, uh, either at dinner or the, on the, the following day. Uh, for PAX results, I did get pretty good. Uh, I finished seventh in packs out of a hundred cars. So I am very happy with that result. I like to try to be up there in the top 10 in packs at all the events. And I've done pretty good uh, this whole year. I think I'm averaging probably about seven, uh, seventh place out of uh, all the cars for all the year. So I'm pretty happy with that result. And we got a few more events left. As I said, this event is a two day one. So we got the second day coming up here soon. And then we'll have our season finale coming up after that. So stay tuned. Thank you guys for watching and we will see you guys in the next video. Later.